Hi Sagittarius, welcome to your daily love reading. My name is Pretty and I'll be doing your love reading today. So before we begin with your love reading Sagittarius, please do remember to take what resonates and to leave behind whatever does not. Okay, so let's begin with your love reading Sagittarius. <clears throat> Yes, at the bottom of the deck, we have the Page of Swords, and this is Air Energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius Energy. So this is an energy of someone who's very curious about you, um, someone who is possibly even watching you, keeping tabs on you. Um, it looks like this person doesn't have direct access to you. Like they could be watching you from a third party uh, or getting information about you from as someone else like if you guys had mutual friends they could be asking friends about you um they could be looking at your social media there's just this feeling of someone who you're heavily on their mind and they do want to talk to you they want to communicate with you um but they, it's like they want to first do their homework there's something that there's unanswered questions from them towards you so let's see what the rest of the cards have to say we have the three of pentacles earth energy the hanged man pisces energy and we have the queen of swords air energy so this person is afraid that if they approach you you may turn your back on them or you may be cold towards them this could be someone who you cut out of your life with the queen of swords there's a feeling here of you having turned your back on them and with the the hanged man there's this feeling of almost like a no contact situation um and so this person right now, they're not taking action, but they are very curious about you. Um, they are looking at the situation from many different angles, different perspectives. Um, this person is trying to figure you out. Um, but at the same time, they feel a bit intimidated by you. Uh, they're, they're afraid to come towards you. They feel as if you might hurt their feelings or you may say something that they don't want to hear if they were to approach you. So right now, they're more so studying you. Like they're trying to check whether they should approach you or not. Um, with the three of pentacles being there, this is someone who does want to be with you. Like they want to collaborate with you. They want to work things out with you. You know, if there's a relationship that was, that fell apart, they want to mend things. They want to fix things. Um, but they, they, they're not sure how to approach you. So right now it looks like they are more so trying to come up with a way to approach you. Uh, they're doing their homework on you. Okay. So let's clarify these cards, Sagittarius. Okay, so we have the seven of pentacles and this is earth energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn energy. So yeah, this is someone who's really hesitant on how to come towards you. But at the same time, it looks like they're looking at the past, like they're looking at how much you guys have invested in the past. Like it looks like this is someone you do have some sort of shared history with and they're reflecting back a lot on what happened between you guys and how far you guys have come. Um, and it does look like they, they feel an incentive to, to make things work with you. Um, but they may want to be more cautious, very careful, slow moving energy. Okay, so let's see. We have the Nine of Pentacles, Earth energy, the Chariot, Cancer energy, and the Wheel of Fortune, fixed sign energy. So as they're watching you from afar, they are seeing you as someone who has glowed up, someone who's doing really well for themselves. They're seeing you as successful. And um, again, there's a little bit of this feeling of them feeling a bit intimidated, um, but at the same time, very attracted. You know, they really want to come towards you, but they don't know what to expect. Um, they do see you though as someone who 
could possibly have a lot of options like admirers because they do see you as quite a catch they see you as a prize and so this person they may doubt themselves you know and so they move slowly towards you they may even feel as if you're a little bit out of their league um but with the chariot they could actually end up approaching you like there's this feeling of pushing past their fears and their insecurities because they they know what they want they want you um so with the wheel of fortune they have been waiting for the right moment to approach you but there's this feeling of they will approach you and when they do it will be it will have been kind of premeditated it won't be random um this is someone who is currently more so watching you okay so i'm gonna pull out an oracle card for you um sagittarius Okay, we have expect powerful change, new mini clip. So right now it looks like you guys are in this no non-action, no contact situation. Uh, this will change. There is this feeling of a powerful change happening. Someone will make a move. It looks like they will make a move towards you. Um, they will, uh, you know, be quite bold and daring in their approach towards you, pushing past their fears. Okay, so let's see. Okay, we have new love a new person has stirred your romantic feelings so there was that energy of them being very curious about you spying on you um this person is trying to see if you have new love they're very curious like they they don't know if you've moved on what's going on in your life if you are happy with someone else um and it does look like a big fear of theirs is you finding new love they may fear that you have new love in your life because they do view you as someone who has iced them out okay so let's see Okay, so we have new starts in wisdom. Knowing yourself is the beginning of all wisdom. So you may very well be already in a new connection. This looks like a past person who's watching you and um, they're very curious about whether you are. It looks like they don't have that confirmation whether you are or you're not. Uh, but there could be new love in your life. And there's this feeling of you having learned from your experience with someone and, you know, being ready for a new beginning in love. And it looks like you, it, it's very close or you're already in it. Okay, so I'm going to pull out a card for your advice, Sagittarius. Okay, we have surrender to receiving support and love. Allow the love and support of others in, rather than trying to handle everything yourself. This can take the pressure off and simultaneously nurture you. So definitely, it looks like there is a new love in your life. Um, someone more supportive, someone more available, more mature and loving. Um, so it does look like uh, whoever this person is, they, they could already sense that. You know, they could, it's, it's like the, for some reason, you having this new love is worrying them or it's keeping them up. This could even be someone who has regrets. Okay, so... That's what I'm seeing for you, Sagittarius. I hope you have a really, really good day, Sagittarius. Bye, Sagittarius.